everyone, today we're going to be having a look at the MRF Genius Chase Master. This is their top of the line cricket bat. Um, this actual bat was purchased from India, the cricketer shop, and the retail price there is about $800 Australian plus shipping. Here in Australia, the same bat is near $1,600 RRP, so double the price. MRF, you've heard me say before, probably in different videos if you follow the channel, I'm not 100% on MRF, and the reason is, is that MRF don't actually make their own bats. They get other bat makers to make for them, they contract the work out. And as such, there's a big variation in the quality of the bats that they produce, because every bat maker is a little bit different. And this one falls into that category. It actually is a nice clean bat as you would expect from something of that uh, nature so there's no actual if I pick it up here it's still got the plastic on uh, the owner has actually decided he's probably going to sell this on um, so you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten grains and fairly thick toe um, cricketer shop actually write their measurements down so they're saying 40 mil edge 190 grams, spine 67. So the weight, I've already weighed this, but I'll do it again. Um, the weight is exactly 210, as you can see there. And as far as the edges go, uh, it's interesting, in my opinion. Um, that says we're on about 41 mil. And this one says we are slightly less so there's a little bit of variation there um, the toe thickness I've got 31 mil and 26 at the edge of the toe and nice thick shoulders 15 mil the bat is full all the way through regular a tiny little bit which I don't really want to do but it's just getting stuck on the plastic there. So it's just on 67 mil. I would say it's actually about 66 and a bit. I did check with another owner who also purchased a Genius uh, Master, exactly the same features as this one, including middle position. So definitely the same uh, maker. I always expected it was SS, but then I found three dark cork and a slightly different handle knob that I'm used to. So comment in the video uh, below who you think this is. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, obviously it hasn't been opened. Now the middle position is in a low to mid low position. As you can see here that swell is all the way down with a nice spine following all the way into the handle. The handle is pretty much a round handle. The handle thickness is uh, on the Thinner side, I would say you'd want another grip on it, and you probably do anyway because although it's 210, because of that middle position, even though it's got quite a bit of uh, wood heading back towards the handle, that thin handle doesn't really help the pickup, and it picks up all of its 210. The bow has, the bat has a little bit of bow as you can see there, and that semi flat face. Let's tap it up to hear what it sounds like. Nothing up in this area. Uh, I'm going to say below the stickers, but those stickers are half the length of the bat realistically. So there's nothing really uh, in a high position. Uh, mid high, it just starts to go. Mid, it's going. Mid low and low. It's got something right through that area there. Obviously, not the width of the ball, which is the last two and a half inches. There's never any action down in this area here. The press itself is quite nice, it's not too soft. Some genius has put the stickers on slightly crooked. They've tried, I can see they tried to line it up here, but then it's actually slightly narrower um, here, so it's gone on slightly crooked. Now you'd think they would pick that up in the factory and fix it up, but no. It's gone out, 
the other thing that I did notice, and I had other people check, uh, other Indian bats, and it's not uncommon, so, but this is on legal width on the front. You can see it there, that'd be about four and a quarter inches. But when we measure from the back, we get down to 105. It's, you could argue that's a weight, a weight shaving uh, feature. Um, rather than narrowing the bat, you can just plane it at an angle. But if you see a lot of the photos of these factories, they're not really super high tech. And a lot of it's done by eye. So I don't necessarily think this is... Um, I think initially I was suspicious, but then I checked with a few people and there is variation there. So I'm not going to jump up and down. I'm just going to mention that that's, that is there. So what do I overall think about the back taking all these things into account? We've got some variation there in manufacturing, uh, some aesthetics issues. Um, I honestly question why you would pay $1,600 in Australia for an MRF a bat, quite frankly. If you want to spend $1,600 on a bat, go and buy it from an actual bat maker, uh, somebody who's actually going to work hard for that money. Um, MRF are basically using you to pay Virat Kohli's wages and if that's really what you want to do with your money then good luck to you. But I personally don't think uh, this in Australia is worth uh, the asking price. I question whether any bat is really worth a thousand dollars. But that's just the way we're heading as far as bats. People will pay money because they see that they're favorite player is using the bat. Well, I can tell you, your hero is not paying for his bat. As far as an $800 bat from the cricketer shop, I reckon if you can um, buy these bats in the, uh, around the $800 delivered, I think you're probably looking okay, but there, there's, it's a pretty competitive market uh, at that price range. So just don't go on the stickers, crooked stickers, um, go on, uh, the advice from the retailer and, and talk to your retailer and say exactly what you need. If you are after a low middle bat with power uh, in that 210 range, then this is a very good start. And as I showed before, it's definitely going to perform. So there you have it. That is the Virat Kohli MRF Genius Chase Master.